Hey there, Badlands. This is me, Aaron Nico, as you know me on the server. I'm just making this little video here. In fact, give me one second. Just let me add this one little thing here. Just making this little video here for all of you guys who are going to be working on the radio, radio, the railway station. I'm going to be showing you exactly, um, well, how to, how you sh could be able to do it. This is one way, way of doing it. I found uh, uses this in Everlost. Um, so yeah, let's begin. Well, sort of an Everlost, but yeah. Let's begin as soon as I empty my stuff. So basically, the first thing we want to know is how are you going to store the minecarts? Well, the storage system that uses the um, rappel, you know, where it uses it's basically powered up like, vertically, I found that just didn't work really well at, well at all, to be honest. So I found I found this new system, well, I, I used to, and found this system, where basically it stores the minecarts across this. These are all the stored minecarts. Right, but upon pressing this button, it sends one mine cut out and all the rest stay. And da 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 da. -da. So basically, how do, you may wondering be wondering how how did I do this? So I'll show you for uh, well, I'll show you where the power goes. So from the button, it brings the power down here. This which uh, God, this is this is gonna be confusing. To look at, I'll probably put the this map for download a uh, download in the description. But yeah, it brings the power down here and through here to this memory cell, as I call it. Other people call it something else. This here then brings the power all the way here to bring to bring um, it to these redstone torches underneath these minecarts, like this one here. And basically, minecart physics, minecart craft physics, actually. Make it so if there's a minecart facing a block, and it's on a power rail, and power rail is turned on, uh, I'll show you. It automatically it automatically sends the minecart off, and as you can see, it bounces off the next one until it finds a free one. In this case, it can't, so it goes out. Eh, but yeah, you understand that. You you understand that. I mean, you're clever people. So basically, that's how you, st and then it goes on like, then um, it gets sent over there. The simplest way I can think of really to make, well, uh, actually, I'm not going to make it here. I'll link on the description also a video of how, where, I f basically, where I found this. It was pretty interesting. So how did I make it stay here? It's ba it's pretty simple actually. What you do, it's simply a one of the another memory cell, but put an, um, also put on a timer like the one over there. So it basically means that after all, after the redstone power goes through all these repeaters here, it doesn't need to be this excessive, but I like to be excessive more. It sends it here, which turns t to track on, which sends it off. Default is set on, but as soon as a minecart travels over this, it set it turns it sends power to the memory cell, turning this torch off, turning the minecart craft off, no minecart off even. So yeah. That's simply what 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 happens here. Let's see it one more time quickly. So, as you can see, it goes on. Oh yeah, and the clever thing, as as you've seen, seen it, but um, it's only been going on because like um, with what, next minecart. But there's the clever thing with this system. Basically, is if I press the button, it does not turn off any of these here at all until. A minecart passes this here, because then it resets the basically re, that's the reset overall reset of the power, power. Sometimes it does not work, which because um, I don't I made it too excessive excessive there and um, too much many uh, what do you call it repeaters and annoying stuff like that. Right, uh, if you've been in Avalost, you've noticed that the door, basically the space between you and the minecart, there's like a slight, there's like a door which opens. This is how you, exactly how you do it. Let, let's imagine you've requested a minecart. What happens is it goes over that pa that that um, detector rail. For us, it's going to be this one here. It's this one here. It goes over it. And um, it sends power to a nut to the f this thing here, and simply all you really do is set pistons like this. Look, so I set it, I press the button, and the minecart comes over, and that's it. That's really it. There's nothing more than that. All you really need to do is make sure the re is just keep the same repeaters. Everything 
this is um, in the same thing as over there. Just this here is um, connected to this now instead of the power rail. If you want me to go into this in more detail, then just tell me in the description. It, trust me, I, re I read every single comment. Right, the final thing you probably want to know is how do I make sure that it filters people off? As in, ah, oh God, this is not working. <laughs> Sorry. Um, basic filter people off like one track. Make sure that basically go back to the loading bay. Oh God, I'm starting to. Wait. Uh, sorry, I, I keep getting really distracted. So you want to make it so it goes one minecart into the loading bay and one goes somewhere uh, goes to loot to uh, the main main track. Simple. Oh. Uh, so. I broke it. Brilliant. Basically, it, you basically just this, this is it. That's the whole thing. You you get a fe you get some fence, and you put a you put one of these on a pressure plate, which sets which basically sets it. Oh, uh, this is not working, but ignore it. Basically, it sets off the. It's if a person's in it, it sets off sets off the redstone wiring, turning the another memory cell. Yes, I love my memory cells. This memory cell, so it switches it over. Turning this power on, which switches the track. Yeah, I know I could have used a one of these. I'm sorry, man. I can't remember the names, but I decided. I just wanted to make it clear that it's pretty much sensor over there. Yeah, there goes my seam. And then it's just a timer which turns it off again. And the reason why it's so big this time is because if because of this many people, stuff like redstone and minecart start. To lag slightly, so if it if it's just if it's just like a, it's just a few, then it would be too slow. Well, yeah, too slow. And this and my final idea. This is just an idea. I'm not sure if anyone's going to actually implement this, but this is an idea which I which I think is pretty cool. Um, say say you want like a place where, like um, instead of requesting look. Have it, I want eh, I can't talk currently. So we've got the main station, correct? And what if we want to go to different towns, it's gonna be really, really confusing to make this this power so it goes into different lines. Okay, maybe not that confusing, but it's gonna be e it's gonna be harder than doing what I've got planned. So make it so what we could do is pretty much send it so the mine car mine track goes out and it goes into one of these. This here will f basically people will come down into this, and it's gonna have two signs. They're gonna be more clearly labeled than that. That's now currently just as right and left. So, but yeah, because it goes right or left. If someone presses the left button, eh? Someone presses the left button, they go left. Absolutely normal. And if someone presses the right button, they go right. Now how does that? How did I do that? It's pretty simple. It's more simpler to do it than what you would think, actually. It basically oh yeah. Um, let me just quickly fix this because I then he punched it. This is it. Well, not really, but this is the whole thing. It looks confusing at first glance, but the same. But it's really really simple. It's just two memory cells and some redstone. That's it. All the redstone, whether you press either button, has to go to the mine track, doesn't it? So what you do is, you send it, you check first of all what's the default way of this this track. Like for example, this one here, the default way goes left. Then what you what you need to do from there is make it so left, well whatever the default one is, that's the first one they see. Like for what me, it's here. Then. To go to the other way, you make it so it's the second one. For for us, it's for me, it's this one here. Then simply, all you do is divide it with a red with a redstone repeater, and sends the redstone to the track. So it could be a it could be a could be a redstone torch or just a redstone like this. A redstone torch is just more disclosed and takes less redstone and other resources though. So I would say you go for the redstone torch. My only reason why I'm doing this because. This map is only three deep. Urgh. And then you go straight into the void. 
so I couldn't actually put it in there. So basically, yeah, and then simply all you have to do then is wire this. Basically, get this wire and wire it to one of the one of these, and a memory cell, a memory cell with the timer, and you do the exact same from the redstone that comes out here, exactly the same. They have to both have they both have to be exact. The only downside of this that I can see so far is they both have to have the exact same amount of pit of repeaters, and they both have to be the exact same amount. It's like if every single one of these have to be. Um, at four, actually they don't have to be, but it makes it look horrible if they're not, because that's only it will, either that would be depowered first or that will switch first. So it basically won't be that good. And then you just wire this this wire here all the way to the end. This wire here is connected to this, which is connected to, to this. So when you press this button, it set, it basically lights up the whole thing, does as you can see. However, when you press the other button, which I'm going to do as soon as that's gone, that time is gone, it only does this. It only does the right side. That's it. It's pretty simple. That's all you have to do. Well, so anyway, um, if there's any, if there's is any other questions, queries, anything like that, ask me on the server. Ask me on the comments. Message me on um, Badlands. Trust me, you can get. You can even message me on Skype if you want me to. Wanted to. I've got. I'm sharing on my Skype. Um, but I won't be. The only reason why I'm making this video really is because I won't be here next week, so I won't be able to actually do any of this if you start it next week. So hopefully this actually helped you. If not, even if it didn't, if you got the whole map. I'm gonna give it to you. All you need to do really is change it so the player in it is your user, not mine. But until then, this is me, Aaron Nico, signing out. Hope this helps you. Peace.